so what is the skeletal system? The skeletal system is uh, mainly made of bones, uh, but there are also cartilages that are at the end of the bones, are connecting to different bones. There are ligaments that, that are made of this regular connective tissue, and they are the ones that connect to different bones. There are also some other connective tissue that um, wraps around the joints and they are attached to the bones and uh, some of them also wrap around the bone, the bones themselves. Uh, the function of the skeletal system is very wide. It is for support of different organs, so different organs can attach to it um, by, through the ligaments. Uh, there is also uh, protecting uh, vi vital organs, for example, brain is in the skull, a heart and lungs and major blood vessels are in the chest, so they are protected by the ribs and the sternum. Uh, also liver, for example, the spleen, uh, part of the uh, stomach is covered by the bones. Um, the part of the kidneys and the back, they are covered by the bones. And, uh, and majority of the pelvic organs are covered and protected by the bones. Um, it stores different minerals. The most important one is calcium salt, but there are some other ones also um, that we will talk about it when the time comes. Um, also, uh, as you age or, um, or as you get older, uh, lipids accumulate inside the bones. So that's the storage for uh, lipids as well. Uh, the bone marrow is the area that, uh, that blood is formed. Um, it's not just red blood cells, but other blood cells are also formed. Um, so that's an important uh, part of the normal uh, body function. And uh, muscles actually attached uh, to the skeletal system. So it depends the, 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 the location of the muscles, uh, then the bones uh, help them uh, in a specific direction. So when the muscles contract, the body can move in a specific direction. Uh, there are different ways to classify the bone. One is on, based on the shape. So based on the shape, there are six different types of bones. One is called sutural bones. This is a small, so it's an irregular flat bone and they are located in the suture. So sutures are um, these joints between two uh, bones and the skull. So you do not see uh, this kind of bones anywhere else in the body, it's just in the, uh, in the skull. Uh, the clinical uh, importance of this is that if somebody has a trauma, uh, then this bone can uh, push inside and it can cause uh, brain damage. Uh, and it can be in different locations, it's not necessarily here, it can be anywhere in the skull. Uh, the second type of bone, these are irregular bones, so they do not have any specific physical shape. A uh, good example is vertebrae, so this is the vertebrae that you can see it all the way here. Um, also you see it in some of the bones in the skull, so facial bones and the pelvic bones. So these are irregular, irregular bones. Uh, the ter third one is called short bones. So the short bones are uh, uh, short and thick. They are small in size. Uh, these are the carpal bones uh, that are in the rest area and also tarsal bones, T-A-R-S-A-L, that is in the ankle area. And then is the flat bones. Uh, flat bones have two parallel surfaces, surfaces that are you know, parallel to each other, they are flat. Um, and the, the location, you can see it in the skull. Uh, here is a, the sternum or the breastbone, uh, the ribs. There is also this bone at the back, a shoulder blade or a scapula. We will discuss these names in chapter 7, so don't worry about it if you don't know the spelling. Uh, we'll talk about that later, okay? Uh, so these are the, the, the flat bones, okay? Um, there is the long bones, they, these are cylinder shape and the two ends are enlarged. And this is the area that uh, they um, create a joint uh, with another bone. Uh, 
so these are um, area that are mobile joints um, the main location of the long bones are on the lens so upper extremity and lower extremity the last one is called sesamoid bones these are small and flat so the common one that you see this is called patella um, uh, this is in the in the knee uh, so these bones usually form in an area of uh, uh, there is a tendon um, that's connection between a muscle and a bone um, or any other areas that is made of fibrous tissue and there is a lot of uh, irritation physical irritation uh, they form so sometimes if you're using your hand or feet uh, a lot um, then it may small bones may form there it does not have any pathological uh, you know importance but um, that's how they are formed with increased uh, physical friction uh, classification of bone based on the bony markings um, I, I may not test this in details I highly recommend you to study this I don't want to just read this uh, it does not make any sense for me to just read some words um, these are very important uh, for chapter 7 and 8 so I highly recommend you to uh, read these ones so what are the meaning of uh, these terms because uh, some of these words may come in the exam um, and uh, it is a good idea to know it so you know the meaning of it if you know the meaning of it it is, makes it a lot easier to understand the rest of it and this image is actually a, an image that is supporting the previous slide so when you study you go back and forth and and, um, and compare the, the word and find that word here in this image so um, I don't want to discuss this when we get to chapter 7 and 8 so then I will go through all of these uh, in more detail so uh, classification of bone are based on the structure so we will talk only about the long bones and the flat bones because these are the two most common bones in the body irregular bones are also common but uh, they do not have any specific physical features uh, so it will not be discussed here so the long bones have three different parts uh, one is called diaphysis so this long area that you see this is called diaphysis or the shaft then is another area uh, that is the ends these two ends and these are called epiphyses there's two of them this is the area that is covered by a cartilage and it articulates with another uh, joint another bone i mean so that creates a joint and in the middle you have an area between the epiphyses and uh, the diaphysis and this is called metaphysis here and here and normally when you're young this area uh, is covered by cartilage and this is how bone uh, grow and become longer uh, but uh, later on uh, the in, later in the puberty uh, they fuse and be ossified or calcified and then uh, the bone is formed so the cartilage is gone um, so the area is difficult to see uh, normally by uh, naked eye or even by x-ray you cannot see it once this area is closed another thing to, to look at is uh, the two different type of bones that are here one is called the compact bone this is really a hard bone they are in the periphery uh, so they are really thick in the diaphysis but become thinner in this area in the epiphysis they become thinner and the other type of uh, bone is uh, called the spongy bone and they have these small holes there i will show it to you later uh, they are located mainly in epiphysis in these areas but also you can see it uh, in the middle there's a cavity there that partially you can see it there as well so the cavity that here between the compact bone is this is called medullary cavity and this is area that um, bone marrow is located in this area so it has a spongy bone uh, and also bone marrow is located uh, this is the structure of the flat bone so it has two surfaces so one surface here one surface is there in the periphery it is made of the 
uh, heart are compact bone and in the middle there is a spongy bone you see that uh, so it looks like a uh, you know a sandwich do you guys like a bony sandwich no okay it is covered also by the periosteum so on both sides is covered by periosteum um, that I will come back and talk about it uh, later on so these are in the flat bones you can uh, see it in the skull for example here but also you can see it in the chest uh,